Welcome guys to Yin Yang TK and today we're going to be uh, starting our new series called Manga Reads in which I'll be reading a manga uh, of a any type of anime that's up and coming or it can even be a, a manga that maybe an anime could be coming soon but for this one in particular I wanted to start off with a manhwa which is basically a Korean comic which is solo leveling as you can clearly see solo leveling is one of those famous uh, Korean mangas that are right now is the talk of the town. Everyone is excited about the new uh, anime that's coming soon. And we actually saw last year a teaser. And then we also saw a new trailer during Anime Expo um, earlier this year. So I'm very excited to see, you know, what else is going on for this upcoming uh anime especially that i overheard that they're actually going to use two versions or record two versions of this anime so the the japanese version of course is going to have japanese names but they're also going to record another one which they're going to use the korean names speaking in japanese now i'm kind of curious to see how the korean dub is going to be used and also the english dub as well will they are they going to use the japanese names for solo leveling or the korean names and if i think if you are the english dubs i do hope that you are using the korean uh, uh names uh, that are in the book but anyway uh just to just go over it you know i'm just letting you know that i'm excited for solo leveling right um we're just gonna see a couple of things first uh just the trailers to kind of get you excited of what's to come right now so uh the first thing is uh you just see a little bit of that i just edited out you know the the music uh sort of right so uh so there wouldn't be any copyright strikes but you kind of see that this is the main character and then the guy yeah that iconic smile right there if you've been kind of like curious to see why that meme is going on like that kind of you know creepyish smile statue thing it comes from this it comes from solo leveling so you're seeing right now just some displays on how it's going to happen like you know solo leveling itself is one of those iconic it's still the number one selling korean comic out there and every single other Korean comic that is trying to come out is trying to emulate or try to have a storytelling just like a uh, solo leveling, right? So again, it's it's just something you know really awesome to you know it's I think it's more of a, a compliment for you know the the author, and uh, I was hoping that that the author was going to come to Anime Expo, but unfortunately. That wasn't going to be the case next winter, but we actually did see, um, you know, a uh, a new trailer that was actually shown in, um, I think I would say, like I said, after Anime Expo or during Anime Expo, um, that we can kind of see what's going on. So the trailer right here, I'm going to show you right now, that was a, co a couple weeks ago right now. So let's see uh, right now. So we're going to see solo leveling. This is the new one right here. So it's kind of showing you like a synopsis of what's going on. So it says here uh, that a decade ago, uh, a pathway called the gate that connects our world to another dimension suddenly appeared. Right. And the events beyond our imagination started to happen all around the world. And those who have awakened their battle abilities uh, are called hunters. Right, solo leveling, right? Uh, and then that's Jin Wu, right? He's the weakest hunter of all mankind. Uh, <laughs> and then you see like the childhood friend right there. Um, but he's basically doing it because he has to support his family, right? And we're going to learn more about that. And again, we're seeing, you know, those statues, those creepy, creepy statues, and then all hell breaks loose. And Oh my gosh, I, I cannot wait to see this anime upcoming in January. It's going to be freaking awesome. And, you know, he is he is running for his life. And I just I just wonder, like, if they're going to keep the manhwa faithful, like, are they going to keep like using those? I can already see like it's very bloody. It's already crazy. It's like, did you have a second awakening? 
right? And that's the that's the thing. A second awakening, right? Um, no one can else see, but that is almost like a video game right there. You need to take care, <laughs> care of yourself. That's you see the sister, advance her retreat, right? And now, you know, he has the opportunity to become something better, right? To go against the grain and actually do something. So this winter, it says right here, you know, uh, we're going to see something pretty awesome right now. You can shut basically see everything and you see like a timer you see like the whole display everything is going to become clear like i said i just want you to guys get in the rhythm of everything to see what solo leveling is about and it's just going to be freaking awesome and i hope it's going to be uh you know into different uh, seasons because i can already tell that this is going to be one of the top anime of 2024 you know you can uh bookmark that uh, so it is just something amazing. So it's going to be on air in, you know, uh, already in January. We don't know yet. And then this is the last trailer. This is the one that I saw on Anime Expo uh, that was shown. And you kind of see, you know, uh, Jin Woo, uh, you know, trying to, you know, figure some stuff out. Because, again, he is trying to he needs the money to support his family, his sick mother, and then also get his sister into college right but something interesting i want to tell you about that the way i uh, kind of uh found this you know um manqua was just by accident it was actually during the pandemic in 2020 where you know most of us were inside and you know i wanted to read more manga and there was a lot of manga that were still being published even during the pandemic and out of nowhere i just see this colored you know manga that i'm like is this really manga i'm like this is really good it's really detailed and you know one of the big differences between a manga and a korean manga is that the korean manga is actually colored like you actually see colored pages it actually takes a lot of influence from american comics it's very colorful it, 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 they put it in really good like glossy paper right it's not like the manga where maybe you have like a couple of pages where it's really colored and then everything is just black and white you kind of have like that starch type of you know thing so it's 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 something you know uh, that i just came across to and the the more i read it the more i'm like wow this thing has the potential to become something big like it could have like huge implications right um you know going forward and um and it was and, and literally love the series and i've been collecting all of the mangas all of the you know different things that have been going around and uh, i'm i'm enjoying it and i hope you guys will enjoy it too right so uh you know going away from that um you know we're gonna get into it so uh the way it's gonna work guys it's just that i'm not gonna show you any of the art for sure because you know of <laughs> you i gotta be honest with you guys um you know it's gonna be copyright infringement and we don't want any of that so uh, the way it's going to work is that I'm going to display, you know, the chapters in line. So it's going to be like chapter one, chapter two. So it'll be reading from the comic and kind of giving you a detailed explanation of what I'm seeing uh, from the manga itself. Right. And we're going to go up until the end of the beginnings of this new journey that we're going to see from Jin Wu. Right. And I'm going to you know go go through every detail at the end we're gonna you know read through it so it's gonna be today it's gonna be from chapter one to chapter 17 right because i feel that those are the beginnings of the chapters where we see the character the main character jin Wu, kind of you know of uh, kind of getting the the know of what is the system how is he going to have a second chance in becoming a hunter? And what is a second awakening, right? And it's funny because if you read it um, during the pandemic times, it actually called it a double awakening instead of a second awakening. I don't know which one is better. What do you guys think? What do you, do you think double awakening or second awakening sounds better? You know, you'll, you'll be the one to judge at the end, right? So... Again, that is where we're going to be reading out. We're going to be reading, you know, this uh, particular manhwa or the Korean manga 
all the way up until the end of December. And hopefully we should all be ready and, you know, excited for the anime premiere of Solo Leveling. And you better believe that I'm going to do a live reaction uh, for that anime that's going to be coming in January. And hopefully by then I will have new tech. And I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to change a little bit of my approach. I'm actually going to show maybe, maybe like a shadow silhouette of the anime on the, you know, corner screen. So it doesn't look like I'm just talking to you guys and just putting like the timer. Uh, because it's already due for me to get a new computer already. This one is already looking like it's in its last legs. Um, you, that's why you don't see me posting any type of like shadowish. Um, I guess, anime animation that you see that a lot of other uh, YouTubers do. So, you know, without further ado, like we're going to go through it. Um, but before anything, I just want you guys, uh, you know, to get a little bit more lore of what we're going to be seeing. OK, so, uh, you know, this is what the anime uh, where I should say, you know, the manga is is going to be talking about right now. So. Uh, like you said, that they talked about, you know, um, what is these gates that are happening all around the world, right? So we're seeing that gates are appearing all over the world, and there are these monsters that are inside. And at the same time, humans have become powerful beings that can use magic and attacks, become hunters, right? And there's different levels of hunters, right? So... Again, I'm going to talk about everything at the end so you guys can have a better idea of what it works. So just follow along as you, you know, the best as possible. But again, I'm going to go through it very, you know, good and light. So, you know, uh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, guys. So don't worry about it. I'm going to, you know, take my time again. I'm going to display all of the things that are happening in the manga. Right. So. Uh, but a little bit, it says solo leveling, you know, uh, the gates arose 10 years ago, bridging the gap between the actual world and the domain of magic and monsters. Ordinary humans were given superhuman abilities and were born as hunters in order to confront these heinous animals or beasts, right? So heinous animals or beasts. Uh, uh, Sun Jin Wu, a 20 year old hunter is reown is reowned as the world's weakest due to his pitiful power when compared to a meager e rank you know we're going to learn more about that um despite this he continues to hunt monsters in the low rank gates to help pay for his mother's medical expenditures so um again we're going to see what's going to happen afterwards i don't want to get too much away so we're going to be reading everything from the get go so again, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the reading and we're going to go through it. We're going to go through it uh, until chapter 17. So let's get started, guys. Let's get started with chapter number one. Right. So that's where we're going to start in right now in chapter number one. And um, again, you can actually find the manga or the Korean manga anywhere online. I just happen to find one right here. That's pretty cool. But uh, if you want to support the author, um, just go to their main website and you should be able to read it and support them, right? So it go it starts with this. It says, my name is Sun Jin Wu, right? Is an E-rank hunter, the Hunter's Guilds. And at the minute you see a sword and he's kind of bloody and covered a little bit. He's basically pointing the sword towards something and he is he is hurt, guys. He is hurt. It says the lowest rank and the weakest hunter. And then there's these freaking stone giants with glowing blue eyes that are about to, like, make this guy's, you know, worst, you know, fears come true. And he says, I never expected this to happen to me. Never. And he is just panting. He's like, he doesn't know what to do. And then you see the freaking storm giant. He's about to swing something. And he says, God damn it. And he just keeps swinging. And then pitch black and then we go to chapter one seoul korea right e rank sun jin Wu. if you discard my slightly abnormal strength and regeneration uh it's embarrassing to even call myself a hunter and you can kind of see he's all bandaged and everything of course i'm always getting hurt 
even if I had a lot of near-death experiences, right? So it keeps going right there. So he's crossing. Um, the job where your life is on the line, the hunter, I am not doing this because I like it, right? Uh, because he has a reason. And then you see the construction site in Seoul. So you can kind of see like a glowing type of, you know, gate, the spatial gate right there that's going there. I, I barely pay my sick mother's medical bills with what the Hunter's Guild pays me. For a normal person with no particular talent, I had no choice but to become a hunter, right? So you can kind of see that he is uh, going into the gate, and then we see uh, a guy that's kind of serving coffee, and he says, here, good luck on your day, on your raid today. And he's, and then this other old guy says, thanks, with the coffee, yeah. And he says, hey, Kim. It's been a while. So you see like this other person that comes in is like way back. What are you doing here? Didn't you leave because you didn't want to become a hunter? And he's like, well, you know, my wife is pregnant and our second son. <laughs> and he's like, oh, true. There's nothing like a raid to earn a fortune. It's not an easy life to live. That's true. And then the other person says, I'm worried it's been so long that I might fall behind. And then he's like, my skill is already bad and it's worse than after I took a break. And he says, yo, Sung, you arrived. Sung, thanks for coming. And then everyone's kind of doing it. It's like, it's cold out there, isn't it? <laughs> Good job. Oh, man. They're like clowning up. Uh, and then Sung, you know, Jing Wu is basically saying, it's nothing. I'll be in your hands today. All right. He says, yo, Sung, you eat it? Like, you eat yet? And he's like, yeah, Mr. Kim, Sung Sheik. Uh, thanks for worrying about me. And it's like, that man, is he a powerful hunter? Everyone's happy to see him. And he's like, well, you wouldn't know since you came right after you quit. His nickname is the world's weakest hunter. Oh, my gosh. Come on now. The world's weak is not the strongest. Bro, that's what we call s rank hunters. Sung is considerably the weakest. It is like, I mean, he's weak enough to get hurt in the e rank dungeon. It's like. Is he really the weakest? Uh, yeah, he's probably the weakest in all of us. He's actually that weak. So that means our dungeon will be weakest since we came. And it's like, I see. Hey, he might hear us at the end. Let's end it for now. Oh, and he's like, and you can kind of see Jin Wu is like, oh, he's kind of like, oh, great. It's like, I've been hearing you old geezers, huh? Hi, may I have a cup of coffee? It's like, oh, Hunter Jin Wu, I'm sorry. All the coffee ran out. And he's like, <sighs> really? And I can't even get a cup of coffee. Not even the coffee. <laughs> this feels bad. Really sorry about this, Hunter Sun Jin Woo. No, it's fine. I'm like, oh man. And it's like, ah, Jin Woo, you're here again. Hi, looks like Ms. Yu uh, Ju He is also uh, attending this raid. Of course, but that's not the problem. Why is your face hurt again like that? And he's like, I don't know. It's just happened while I was hunting. <laughs> it says, really? What actually happened? You even went to the hospital. It's like, yeah, you were an E rank dungeon and I was only hurt. Well, <laughs> one hurt is like, ah, oh, how could that happen? Well, the others were all higher ranks, so they didn't bring a healer. Like, even so, she says, they really didn't bring a healer just because you they'd be safe. It's like, it's okay. It's only because I'm weak, right? I'm used to it, Miss June Heat. Uh, also, no, also, you know that, right? And she's like, kind of flustered a little bit. It's like, look, well, looks like everyone is getting ready to go into the gate. Let's go as well. And she's like, okay. And then the guy, I guess, the leader is like, everyone, we're off to go happy hunting. So I'm not really qualified to say this, but I like to be the party leader for this raid. Is that all right with you people? It's like, oh, Mr. Song, you're the highest ranked here. I got no problems. Well, if Mr. Song can really. If it's Mr. Sung, we can trust him. It's been a while since I witnessed his skills. It's like, me too. Yeah, count me in. Yeah, we all agree, right? Take care of Miss us, uh, Mr. Sung. It's like, yeah, yeah. All right, then. And then enter the dungeon. Let's go. So, Mr. Sung, let's not try to get injured. Us, Okay? It's like, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Jinwoo. Okay. I'm going to try my best today. Let's see if that happens. So, they're about to go in. They get into the spatial thing, and that end ends the chapter one, right? So we're going to go basically to the next chapter, chapter two, right? So let's see what chapter two awaits, right? 
So it already begins uh, right now. Uh, it says it's all clear to go. Okay, so they go inside. It's like, what are you thinking about? It's just that Hunter Sun Jin Woo, I'm a little bothered that we couldn't give him any coffee. Uh, the weakest hunter in the Iraq category. What rank is this dungeon? It's like they said it's about a D rank. I've never seen Hunter Sung Jin Woo uninjured in my whole time I was in the Hunter's Guild. A D rank dungeon. Well, don't think anything's going to happen. Let's go. Oh, I mean, they only knew. Jin Woo, why are you so adamant about working as a hunter? Fighting like this would only bring even more risks. So, oh, he's getting healed right now by Jun He. It says, I'm not saying this for an apology. I'm just worried. And he says, sorry. And he's like staring. You see like the other hunters like basically cleaning house. They're like killing all the other beasts like no problem. At least the raid is almost over, she says. And then like Jin Woo was like, yeah, you know, look like it's done. Mr. Bok, you're you're not dead yet. Huh? Ha, this is a piece of cake. And he's like kind of staring at them. Jin Woo, do you have a reason to not to not quit being a hunter? I'm just hunter for fun. If I don't do this, I may actually die of boredom. Telling her personal reason will make her even more embarrassed. I don't think he wants to share that thing. Looks like having fun two times will send you <laughs> riding in the afterlife. <laughs> it is like, and he starts laughing. It's like, don't laugh. You open your wound. Yeah, yeah. This is what you get after killing a monster, the magical core. Oh, so he has like a magical core right there. And it starts explaining a magical core from even a C rank monster is worth thousands. However, since Jin Wu was an E rank hunter, a C rank monsters were impossible for him. So after all my injuries and troubles, I only earn a single E rank magical core. Considering I put my life on the line to earn this, it's too small. Yeah. Hey, there's another entrance here. It's like earning money like this. Oh boy. And I guess there's some there's like a cave at the same time. And he says, oh, the double layer looks like it's real. Oh, actually, it means a double dungeon, right? They have there's I know like this is like old, you know, translation, but this is like new translation right here. So they put fire in there. They open it up. And it's like, hmm, everyone listen for a moment. There's basically like a cave all the way at the end. The gate does not close if the boss is still alive. Since the gate is still open, it seems the boss is inside here usually we need to contact our guild and await their orders but what they're like talking if the other hunters get to at first our profit would dwindle so i wish for all of us to go kill the boss and since it could be dangerous why don't we the 17 of us take a vote so oh they're gonna take a vote right now to see if they want to go and no complaining after the vote results we vote to fight so there's a lot of people now nah, i love to go i say no let's fight Sorry, but I don't want to go. So that's Juhi. So that's eight, eight. So it's fair, huh? How about you, Mr. Sung? Everything depends on his vote right now. I don't have enough money. Soon I'll even need to send my little sister to college and my sick mother for my family. It says, I'm going. I'm going right there. Just one more time. Let's do this. So, so okay. So we are basically finish it because of him he decided to go to the double dungeon right so now we're going to go to uh chapter three right now right so all, hopefully all of you are still in the you know following along in the manhua so it says aren't you going uh too far in how long did we walk about 40 minutes the gate closes in an hour after we kill the boss so we have about 20 minutes left so and then he's like, you know, so Jin Wu saying sorry. It's like, about what? Forcibly coming here after I voted. Yes, I'm fine. So you don't need to worry about me. Are you really okay? Oh, no, she's mad. It says, to be honest, no, I'm definitely not okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a look of a woman that's mad right now. Are you insane? Just now, if you've just been stabbed a little above, you could have had a hole in your heart. And that's not even considering your arms and legs, even though I barely healed it. Oh, she's in a rant right now. You even made you they even made you say yes, huh? Did you also hurt your head? It's true. I only alive because of Miss Jun He is a B rank healer. And I'm in her debt yet again. I'm sorry. And he says, Are you sorry? She's he's like, Yes. <laughs> 
And then she's like, Ugh. I was like, if you're that sorry, how about treating me to some food? Oh, like maybe like a date or something that could happen right there. That could happen. Right. And he's like, oh, OK. What don't you? Uh, it's like, no, no. It's like, what don't you like eating with me? It's like, no, no, no. It's OK. And it's like, it's here. The boss's room. I've never seen a room with this type of door before. So it's like it's a freaking huge door. It almost looks like church doors uh, like of a freaking castle right there. It's strange. It, hey, this isn't this is pretty dangerous? Yeah. Are you going to return empty Hampton after we come here? We could be on the first ones to enter this dungeon. Those who can't to those who want to leave can go. I'm going in there alone if I must. Oh, this guy's brave. Well, Mr. Sung. Ching Yu's skill is amazing. He also is extremely offensive style with C rank hunters. That man, if we was if it wasn't about to be 60, he could have been in any guild. Since he we came here because we trusted Mr. Song, uh, we might as well follow him to the end. And then the doors open, opens easier than I thought. They open the door themselves. Let's go on in. And so far, all of the uh the lights are on uh, they actually are lidded blue fire and it almost looks like uh like a huge chamber of sort i've never seen a dungeon like this all right let's scatter and scout the area it seems like no one's been here for a long time so it's very dusty it's very old these statues they feel weird and they're kind of like old and musty uh they're all holding uh, something different some of them are even holding instruments it says there's quite a lot of them. It feels scary since there's so many. Wow. And it's like Jin Wu is like seeing that. It's like, doesn't it feel like someone's staring at you? Stop saying such negative things. Wow. Look at this. It's huge. Right. That's not the boss, right? I don't think so. It's only a statue after all. This is the only one that's huge. Right. It's like sitting by itself. And it's the one that's going to have all the memes. Uh, I can't see I can't see a single one, right? There's nothing that resembles that monster here, right? And it's like, hmm, what is this? A magic seal? And it's like, Mr. Song, something's written here. I think you need to come. And it says, this is a Ruic text. So it's basically it almost looks Hebrewish in a way, um, like you know, in the old language, almost kind of like the Old Testament or like in the Torah that you see. It's like a huge tablet that has all these inscriptions, right? Let's see. Catherethon Temples Commandments. All right. It says, first, worship the Lord. Second, praise the Lord. And I guess right now, Jin was getting tugged right now. Hey, there, that huge statue, the third prove your faith is like that i will just move it was looking at us huh right you must have been mistaken wait what is this feeling and i think he's feeling something he's feeling anxious it got quiet quite like it got so quiet that the air seems chilly right now those who do not follow these commandments will never return alive oh because he read something and something just happened right now what the door just closed so the door closed by itself trapping everyone what do we do now it's like god damn it don't can't stand this anymore you guys are all spouting nonsense it was a mistake even to come here so this guy's like i'm leaving the boss treasures whatever you guys can take it good luck and then it's like stop don't put your hands on the mantle he's like screaming and then something came up Oh, and there's just blood in the... F oh, my. I think they cut his head off. Yep. Yep. One of the statues just moved, swang his axe, and now he's been beheaded. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Everyone... That thing moves. Everyone's just shocked. The hell? We have to fight those? And then there's, you know, there's just panic. Jin Wu is just petrified right now. And Jing... Uh, Ju He is basically screaming. I was like, wait. They're the eyeball moves. I think he's remembering if that was really true. And then Jin Wu kind of like turns a little bit like this. And yes, one of the eyes of the statue, the big statue is glowing. And now I was like, oh boy. Yep. Something is seriously wrong in that room. So that ends chapter three. We're going to go to chapter four right now. Right. So we're going to see what is next. So right now, everything is going all haywire. We already seen uh, Hunter just be 
freaking destroyed is that that thing moves it's like it's like we have to fight those things we have to fight those and there's like a bunch of them all surrounded what was the rank of the one who just died just now is like a d rank even if he was bad he still would have been stronger than e rank like me but in one hit wait a second this dungeon is a d rank at most I never heard of uh, monsters as strong as them in a D rank dungeons before. If we, if all the statues can move, don't tell me that even that one, even the huge one that is seen right now, that one is the one with the, is very creepy. That's the one that we just saw. Yep. That's the one where we saw the eyes right there. Oh boy. And this, this isn't the first time I encountered near death experience. Jin Wu is like during my first raid, I accidentally broke away from the party and got lost. So he's remembering I also got hit by an E-rank monster in the back and was hospitalized for weeks. I even almost starved to death after being trapped inside a dungeon. Oh my god, he was all skinny. Even though they were all low-ranked dungeons, I had to put my life on the line. Other trade their magical cores for better weapons to defeat stronger monsters and to earn more treasures. I can't do that. He was in the hospital bed, right? And also, he's thinking about he can't do that because he has family to support. Always unequipped. Buying a poor sword would just result in being destroyed quickly as uh, and anyways. Having a healer would mean my injuries would be healed, even it's not that extremely serious. That brat came injured again. He's a mere E-rank. I feel bad for the healers fighting him, so they're just talking crap. And Jim Woo's behind his back. They have to work twice as hard. Did you know these days he's called the world's weakest hunter? Meaning even though he's the hunter, he's useless. It's like my shoe has been destroyed. Oh, man. He's like, so the first, the second, all those days where I came out injured, I ignored their sneering remarks. And he's got punched right there by a freaking huge beast. And inefficiently worked at a job that could result in my death because Maybe it was because of this that I knew very well, right? And now that freaking statue and now Jin Wu is she's like this. Jin Wu is trying to calm her down. It's like everyone duck. He's saying like everyone get down, get down. And it's like what? What's going on? Everyone's like confused. Now that freaking statue just blew freaking lasers through his eyes right now. Oh boy. Everyone has to be down right now. And oh boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. And the eyes literally sizzling smoke from the eyes. And it's like you just saw a huge, huge laser beam. It's like, everyone okay? You're fine. And then, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There was one person that got hit. Literally just a hand is left. And a, a freaking woman hunter is just screaming. It's not just a few that died. I barely died. So not just one. A few people actually died. It's like it barely dodged. If it, if Sung didn't yell it out, we all could have been wiped out. And it's like, oh, Miss Juni, Miss Juni. She's like, don't stand up. Just remain in your position. If we stand up, it will attack us again. It's like Mr. Sung. Okay. It's like Mr. Sung, <laughs> Chingwu. It's like Miss Jung Hee can't handle fear that well. Yeah, she can. She's like in a fetal position right now. That's why we. Uh, she can only do basic raids, even though she's a B rank healer. But here, it doesn't seem basic. Only those who moved died. All those people that lived died, lived listened to you. Oh, is that true? Wait, didn't you just yell because you knew that would happen? Is like no. Jin Wu was like no. It's only because I felt danger. It felt dangerous. And he's like, sir, your arm. Oh, his his left arm is gone. It's gone. It's fine. I'll be fine. Just help me stop the bleeding, will you? So they had to like tie something right there. Sung, what rank does that look like to you? Like, I don't know. I've never been into a raid that's higher than a D rank. I've only experienced a B rank uh, once or twice. I could definitely say that this place exceeds that of a B rank dungeon. Even there, there weren't any monsters of this caliber. Yeah, it could be even higher than that. That one is an A rank. No, maybe an S rank. Oh, we're going to get back into that. Don't worry about that. Just now, there was a Carthurian temple, uh, temple's commandments. It's a hard word to say. The first, worship the Lord. Second, praise the Lord. Third, prove your faith. Those who do not follow these commandments will never return alive. These were written on there. 
said, Mr. Sung, the Lord, I think is like, I think Jin Woo is kind of like working his brain right now. It means that one, right? The biggest one right now. And that one is looking very ominous. The eyes are still glowing, ready to freaking attack. It's like killing all of them would also make take too much time. It's like, yeah. And then that's it. That is going to be the end of that chapter. And we're going to get to the next chapter right here. We're going to go to chapter five, right? So it, it is it is something crazy, guys. It is crazy to think like, oh, boy, like this is something scary right now. Something scary. So uh, I'll I'll make sure like uh, to put a little bit of background music too, as well. So something like you can enjoy a little bit, maybe not too much, right? Um, so we're going to chapter five. So we go to chapter five now. The gate. It says the tunnel that connects the other worlds to ours. Ten years ago, after the gate appeared, the world experienced many bizarre events. One example is the hunters. The third. Uh, their level of power stayed the same even after becoming hunters. I too became a hunter, but my strength was only enough for an E rank. Although I am stronger than most humans, the difference between other ranks and me was vast. Those who received their power to cross the gate to destroy monsters and did this uh, as their career were called hunters, right? Sometimes beyond the gate, there can be an ominous. I guess, despairing, insane monster that springs out of nowhere, right? Will you be fine? The bleeding does not stop. There's nothing we can do, though, is there? Yeah, he's basically like a freaking soldier. I only brought three healers because I thought this would be over quickly. One got attacked so brutally that not even his corpse remained. Oh, my gosh. That laser basically killed at least a fraction or more than a fraction Maybe like 30% of their party. And then this guy's like, save me, save me. I want to live. One is shocked that he's acting like that. Even a B-rank healer like Ju He probably never experienced anything like this before. That's why receiving healing may be a little hard for now. Yeah. I think it would be better just to stay still against the likes of them. You kind of see the statue still glowing eyes. Even the situation clears a bit. There, Let's try running then. Although it won't be easy. And then you kind of see like the people is like, why do we have to? This is only a D rank dungeon, only a D rank. They're like literally just they're just, just having freaking like just episodes right now. They, they they're they having mental breakdowns, just like what Mr. Sung said. We'll have to attack it if we move. We'll get no, we'll get attacked if we move. Even if we somehow by bypass him, we still have to go through the guard statue. He probably never intended us intended for us to leave yeah i won't die like this oh my gosh i finally joined a big guild so i can't die here what is this guy doing wait what are you doing don't move yeah i can do it so he's gonna try if anything i'm confident in my own speed he said i'll go through that door in an instant really what happened he's going really fast he's he's charging up he's he's one of the hunters and oh my gosh what's gonna happen he's gonna go Let's see if it happens. And the beam again. Oh, dude. He beamed him. And the only thing that are left are his feet that are running. Not even his speed was enough. Dude, like the feet. There's the only feet. Feet. Guys. Oh, my gosh. Everyone is freaking out. Oh, yeah. It was, and it's like, man, f <laughs> It's like, fuck. I could curse at least a little bit on this one because it actually has it on it. So I'm sorry if, you know, it's cursing, but that's what the comic is. It literally says, fuck. It's like, these guys can kill us whenever they feel like it. They can't, <laughs> when they can. It would be easier than squashing a bug. They can wipe us all out in an instant. So why aren't they? I don't know. Even it could, it does not kill. Right. It's different from the monsters who blindly attack hunters on sight. The guard is statue that attacks when approaching the door. The large statue that shoots beams when you move, they attack in pattern. A pattern, now he now he's kind of thinking of it, it can't be. There's a rule in this room. The commandments, right? The commandments of the Carthian or Carthian. It's hard to say that word. Yes, that's it. 
Mr. Sung, what was the first commandment? Commandment? The first would be worship the Lord. The Lord, huh? Sir, there's a rule in this dungeon. What are you doing? If I'm correct, are you crazy? It's like, I was like, those aren't the eyes of a man who seeks death. Yeah, he's he, like, Jin Wu is actually being brave right now. So he's like, he doesn't attack those who move. So that is basically the end of chapter uh, five. We go to chapter six, right? Ooh, this is getting good, guys. So it's really good. And I'll just, uh, you know, for full discretion, like, again, if, if I'm going too fast, again, you can always read the manga itself. Um, but I'm doing the best I can. Hopefully that you guys are getting it uh, a little bit by piece by piece. So, sir, there's a rule in this dungeon. What are you doing? And he's like, oh, what's going to happen? He is, he's moving. And then the guy, let's see, what is he going to do? He's, he's He actually stumbled. He starts to attack if you move past a certain height. Oh, so he basically was kind of getting up and up. And then when he, he sees the glows of this eyes that's when he goes down i finally understand the meaning of the first commandment everyone bow down to the statue sun Gun, have you gone mad what are you talking about you figured out something right yes it says he attacks if you move past a certain height and therefore doesn't attack you when you bow down low enough worship the lord means to literally bow down and worship him so when we bow down to him this didn't just come from a gut feeling right i did it for now oh my gosh it's like well there's nothing else we can do so everyone is bowing right now right to this we get to live we can finally get out of here just by bowing so everyone's bowing and now the the laser eyes are basically gone now you don't see any laser eyes anymore so as you continue uh, all everything is quiet right and now you see that kind of creepy smile kind of thing oh yeah you see that creepy mean smile right there he's like just smiling creepy he's like what's with that face right his expression it changed yeah it's very creepy guys right how many he has attacked before and it's like how are many still alive how for how long how long do we have to do this looks like he stopped attacking no way do you think he's going to try something else now? Is everything actually going to be fine just because we bowed to him? Hey, if you stand up like that, look, the attack stopped. It's true. He's not doing anything. No way. Is it already over? We survive. We get to live. No, no, not yet. Okay, there's there's some shaking. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. <gasps> Wait, it's not over yet. Now we see the freaking statue. Like, we have to face him. He's, the statue actually is standing up right now. Oh boy, and everyone sung. Uh, do you don't you have any other plans? Even if you ask me, it's like all oh, that 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 freaking creepy smile again. And now it's like, you really don't have any plans, right? I don't know what to do either. And then he basically is stepping, and it, the more he steps, it's almost like a freaking earthquake. Oh wait, the dungeon has its own rules, right? The first one to worship the Lord. The second is to praise the Lord. That has to be the key. Praise. If that's praising, then I'll give it one shot. I was a member member of the church choir. If it's singing and praising, I've got this. I don't know. So he's basically taking off his cross right now. I don't know if that's going to work. It's like, I approach the Lord. It's like, I <laughs> make me anew and pour your grace. The weakness found within me all will wash away from the love of the Lord. Your Lord love holds on to me. It's like, is it working? It does look like it's moving slower. No. And then like Jin was like, no, like an angel flapping its wing above. And then no, that's and you see that expression face. He's like just smiling, just creepy. It's like, I shall walk with the Lord above. And now the feet. Oh, my gosh. And from within the Lord's love, that praising is the wrong God. He's praising the wrong God. Yeah. And then squish like a freaking tomato. Oh, boy. And now he is gone so now we go to chapter seven so that praising wasn't working guys at all that and now that church choir guy is has been basically tomato juice right now so uh 
they're doing it wrong they have to figure something out oh my gosh and everyone is just just running and running what else can they do they're just saying help me yeah and then the girl oh no she's just not moving anything and she is squished too oh my they are not this, these statues are they don't discriminate they'll kill anybody men women doesn't matter it's dangerous to group up separate for now but i can't just leave miss jung hee behind and she is just crying she doesn't know what to do and then the one of the guys that were in the first chapter he's kind of remembering the wife is like how about you quit being a hunter and find a safer job we already have two kids what are you talking about we have to earn more money for their sake he's like i can't die here i'm finally determined to be a father of two but this over here you should be safe is like mr bog behind you turn around and there's another freaking statue and it slashes them in half oh my gosh and now halves are basically separating yeah he's gone oh my god praise the lord praise the lord how do we praise a god like him yeah that's the devil yeah. behind us stands the guards in front is this colossal statue they attack when we get close to them and they're basically now there's two more freaking hunters that are being killed an axe a spear a sword a hammer a flay a bow an instrument oh my gosh another guy got his arm chopped oh my gosh oh this other guy his entire half is gone it's like we can't get closer we can't run what can we do huh it's like an instrument do they attack with instruments too the guards only attack when those who get too close once they do that move is based on predetermined motions if the statues holding the instruments do that too then i think he got everyone run towards the statues with the instruments the ones with the instruments yeah so okay we got some it started playing so now an instrument is playing right now the statues holding the instruments don't attack find the ones with instruments so everyone is like kind of going well see so the violin one saved a little bit she is crying oh he's crying like a little kid it's like you bastard and you just see freaking carnage all around blood you see bodies everywhere it is crazy guys and now they're just running hurry up start playing and it says come on and i guess jin Wu and jun here are there why it's like wait could it be that two people can't stay underneath the same tragedy and she's like jin Wu, she's all crying it's like don't move you'll be safe there and she's like jin Wu, and it's like oh now the statue kind of looks towards jin Wu right there and he's looking at him he's running he's trying to run he sees a, an instrument just a little more just a little more and oh my gosh another like freaking thing that's not that way and he's like oh boy oh it's like if it wasn't if it wasn't an instrument but a shield so it wasn't oh so the shield literally class says and it's oh my god jin Wu. so jin Wu is like oh so jin Wu is like kind of hurt right now instrument instrument if there truly is a god please and he's like praying is like please life and death i was holding on to the thread that kept me from dying but now it feels like it it, it can break and you can kind of see like a personification where he's holding on to life but it's slowly kind of about about to rip from him and then now the statue that's singing is basically singing so he made it so now it's not attacking anymore so all of the statues are singing but now jin was like a bloody mess are you okay yeah so so jin will how <gasps> and they're like a gasp huh and he's like oh it's like what happened there's like oh his leg they the freaking statue freaking like cut his leg off oh boy so now jin Wu is in one leg right oh boy it is it is crazy so now we go to chapter eight right so chapter eight uh, we continue where they left off and now you see oh boy it, it, like this manga is so bloody man uh you just see a freaking severed foot that's Jin Woo's foot, and then it's okay now, Miss Jin Woo. You can stop. He, she's trying to heal. It's like hold on a little bit. I promise. I'll heal. He's trying to like close the like the blood from flowing right now, and now because of the healing, she's actually coughing off blood right now. Jun Hee, she'll be okay. How terrible! Well, at least he survived. 
we started out with 17. Now we're only three. Now there are only six left, right? So there are only six left right there. It says, and two are gravely injured. Yeah. So it's like, it's unfortunate that you lost your arm, but this is all because you made a rash decision as a party leader. Mr. Song, you just wait for your punishment. Oh, so now they're like blaming on him right there. That bastard, not again. So that big statue again. It's like, what's going on? An earthquake? No, there's something there. Like something popped up out of nowhere. It almost looks like a kind of circular kind of like, uh, I guess, uh, altar, I would say. It looks like an altar to me um, with inscriptions in there. What is that? An altar. Yep. Called it right there. An altar. You know, like the ones from the mythologies where they sacrifice a living being for their lord cows pigs sheep children virgins etc and the last commandment is prove your faith this is probably the last trial and everyone's just trying to survive no matter how stupid it may be i think you can tell what's going on right now oh it says mr sung this means that we have to sacrifice someone am i right oh so that guy's actually trying to kill Mr. Sung, the party leader. He's actually pointing the sword on his face. It's like, who brought us here? Sung Chil, it was you. Someone who brought, um, bragged about his wife and two kids was cleaved in half. And 10 other people were killed as well. You agreed to take responsibility just now, right? Then prove it now. Oh, and then Jin was like, Mr. Sung, it's like, shut up and stay still. It's like, Mr. Kim is right. I must take responsibility. I want to go by myself. So please take that away from me. Oh, my God. Yeah. So the sword is like, but it's not his fault. Jin Wu, your your wounds are still. We all voted to come here. It's Carol is saying that it's my fault right now. Right. So it is crazy right now. So he's walking towards it by himself. And then it almost looks like the Mayan calendar in the middle. I have so many mythologies mixed in one in this thing. It's like, well, what's happening now? Mr. Sung, did you not? Uh, is that not what's supposed to happen? It's like one flame. What does that mean? He's not like, did he not want a sacrifice? And then can someone help me to the altar? Let's go to the top of the altar. What did you say? It's, it'll probably be fine. It's like so they're kind of holding him, and you kind of see his his freaking severed leg right there. Doesn't have a foot. His right foot is gone for Jin Wu. So that's how it is. So like, do you think the other hunters will save us if we stay here? Today's the one week mark after the gate was open. Those things will move before reinforcement come. They neglected this gate because it's only a D rank. Well, nothing new from what the guild does. The gate opens up completely after seven days. The monsters can come through if the gate is completely open. So if, if the gate, if the boss of the gate isn't defeated, then the monsters come out after seven days. It says raids have the purpose of killing the boss and closing the gate before the seventh day limit. If we fail now, it means that the monster can come to our world, especially that freaking statue. I can only imagine. You two should come up as well. For every person, an altar of flame appears. It also looks like the trial will only start when everyone's here. So everyone's like talking. All right. So everyone's going up. Flames are started appearing. And now there is like this huge connection of electricity just surrounding the, the chamber right there. And now everything is lit up. And now the door is open. Like I said, the door open. What? says what is this can we leave no something else might happen so and now one of the flames went out it's like what now they're approaching us all of them just started moving so now they they're confused they don't know what to do so we go to chapter nine right to see what is this thing going on so it's like everyone started moving and it's like, what are we supposed to do now? And it says, fuck this shit. That's what it says. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. It says, <laughs> excuse the language, but that's what it says in the comics right here. And now everyone is like panicking right now. All the statues are moving. You know, it's like, Miss G, you, can close, you can't close your eyes. 
it's the same as the game we played when we were young they come close when they you take your eyes off them everyone do not take your eyes off the statues and then everyone is still have their eyes closed a little bit it's, and then everyone's like no hey oh wait one of the flames left and it says no she went through it what mr sung how is that possible she's still alive the door closed a little she went through the door what what is this a blue flame disappeared after set on a flame. one red flame that appeared based on the number of people on the altar disappeared as soon as she left so the first commandment is worship the lord the second is to praise the lord and at least the steps so far weren't riddles like a sphinx would ask but the open door is a trap a false hope when all the red flames appeared the door opened while it closes just a little every time red flame disappears the door will definitely close when all the red flames are gone prove your faith means that even in the terror and danger with sweep temptations you keep your faith and then one of the big guys sorry i don't think i can stay any longer oh so he actually just shoved jin Wu on but no it's like and he actually made it what don't move we can't have more people leaving and then there's more people any less and we don't have enough people to look at the statues we will die mr sung what's happening please explain all we have to do is stay and look at the statues until the blue flames disappear the blue flames are the timer we all have uh, are able to leave once they all disappear mr sung you may be right but couldn't the door just close completely when the blue flames run out are you certain and he's asking that question right there. To be honest, I never imagined someone as weak as you to be so helpful. Damn. I looked down on you. Never really expected anything from you, even when you joined our party. A lot of people died when they entered this room. But the ones alive are alive because of you. All because you managed to solve the riddles here. I'm also alive because of you. Thank you. And he says, Mr. Kim. But, oh, he drops the sword. But I also have a family. I don't want to die here. He's crying. Oh my gosh. I don't want to die. I'm sorry. I don't think I can stay any longer. Mister. And he's like, I'm sorry. And he's like, Mister. Literally screaming. And now one of, of the red flame goes. And now, thank you? Don't make me laugh. She's like, oh. And she, he's just cursing him. You, you're running from here will result in our deaths because we don't have they don't have enough statues they don't have enough people to look for the freaking statues now man talk about a freaking hypocrite man gosh this guy can only like just piss you off a little bit so we go to chapter 10 and now jin was crying it's it's, it's oh, i can't believe it he just feels like all hope is lost the door is nearly closed it's too it's too late now but i finally get what's happening now you should all leave mr Sol mr song it's like the door won't close fully as long as there are at least one person in the altar right you two may have many more years left ahead of you you should leave miss junior could you help mr sung and talking junior yes oh what happened she fell uh it is like what's happening what like her legs are shaking what what what's going on with my legs they won't move it's like it must be mana exhaustion you used way too much mana trying to heal mr sung mister you should take ms jung hee and get out of here <laughs> i would i said i would stay then who will help ms jun hee out of here there's no time go and i think that was jin who's resolve right now he's like I can't. I have a freaking busted leg right now. Cut. There's nothing I can do. I'm the weakest, right? And now Jun and now Jun he she's all like petrified. No, Jun Woo, I'd rather stay. I promised to buy you dinner, didn't I? Eat it first. Oh, he gave her he gave her this the 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 freaking treasure he found. It's like I'll get my payment from you when I return. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's crying. This is no time for jokes. And he she just got hit on the back of the neck knock her out it says sorry but there really isn't any time left please take care of her that's what she tell that's what he tells jin woo to him mr sung 
and now it's like thank god he's thinking at least i'm the only one that's dying and now he's surrounded by the statue i could have at least gotten an insurance if i had known this would have happened oh my gosh is this and now he's actually taking the sword that the guy betraying them left since it comes down to this i'm gonna take at least one monster with me and then if it be it's possible right and he's like all right what's gonna happen come and now the statue is about to attack jin Wu, and literally literally pierces him inside right there right here close to his heart right now and he is literally in the altar bloodied right there he is this is freaking caught off right now he's like i don't wanna i don't wanna die he says i don't wanna die of course it's fine and i think he's remembering what do you mean thankful quit with all these betrayals i have family too I don't want to die either. Glad for being the only one dying. Stop lying to yourself, you liar. I think it's a subconscious talking. I don't want to die. If I only had just one more chance. And now the statue is about to basically end it all. And then the last timer is gone. And now. What's going on? There's like this huge elimination going on. Alarm, you have completed all the necessary requirements of a secret quest, Courage of the Week. So a window just popped up in front of him. What is this? Alarm, you have completed all the necessary requirements of a secret quest, Courage of the Week. Secret quest? Completed all the requirements? And then it's like, wait, where is this sound even coming from? You have earned the right to become a player. Will you accept? Earn? Accept? What's going on? You don't have much time remaining. If you refuse, your heart will stop approximately 0.02 seconds later. I feel like that is happening like in the millisecond right now. If I accept that I don't have to die. And it says right here, accept, refuse. Two choices right now for him. Yes, this chance, I will take it. Alarm, welcome player. And now something is happening. A a luminous knight is engulfing the main character Jin Wu and everything is brightened up and all the statues are gone they're destroyed we don't know what's going on right so we're gonna go on to chapter 11 right now to see what the heck just happened right now we thought this guy was gonna die but no he actually lived something happened right there it says welcome player and now He's waking up in a hospital bed and he's just literally waking up almost like coming from a nightmare. And he's like, just kind of like breathing a little bit. I was like, was it a dream? Was it all a dream? A hospital. And now you see these um, men in black coming in. Are you finally awake now? Who are you? I'm sorry if I we surprised you. The Korean Hunters Guild inspectors. Why do inspectors want to see me? So we're like, I was asleep for three days? It's like, what happened to Ms. Jun Hee and Mr. Sung? Are they all safe? It's like, yes, they're all safe, but Hunter Sung, uh, Ching Yul's missing arm will almost likely impede his work from now on, so he may retire if he chooses to. Hunter Lee, Ju Hee, is still getting treatment due to her extreme trauma. It's uncertain if they will stay as hunters. And other hunters like Kim, Sang Shik, no it's fine that's enough it's like he doesn't want to hear about it he, especially that guy freaking mr kim is the one that freaking betrayed him because if he would have just stayed in the freaking altar all of them could have survived at least right but no because of him everything went to hell right there so he i think he has that resentment towards him and it says the number of people that survive the double uh the you know the double layer well i just say the double dungeon is six right although hunters are are in danger every time they hunt it's rare for a massacre like this to occur when the inspectors and the white tiger guild reached the scene they were all gone in the room was only you lying in the altar no status or anything that the others described were found and you can kind of see he was basically knocked out but his legs were fine everything was fine i think he was just knocked out in the altar that can't be 
we couldn't believe it either if the survivors testimonies have differed by even a little or if some of the body parts of the deceased weren't found there we would have thought of a different explanation this is just our theory but we believe that you received a second awakening right even though it says double awakening it says a sec second awakening it says a second awakening a hundred stats that are set when they receive an awakening or power however some hunters get a awakened again after a first time there have been cases of c rank plowing directly to a a rank and a b shooting even to a s rank this is the magic power detector a monometer right all you do all you have to do is place your hand on this monocrystal if if there's actuality where such death level monsters described by the survivors normal hunters couldn't cut it only by gathering a ranks and s ranks could the situation have been resolved but all those monsters just disappeared and then i guess the freaking you know crystal that we're seeing right now um that it almost looks kind of like attached to a freaking like <laughs> it almost looks like attached like almost like what you see uh in cars when you're trying to see if the battery is lower or, or bad right it's impossible not to suspect the possibility of a hunter sun jin will receiving a double uh, second awakening seeing that he was the only survival left inside and then however and it says level number 10 and it says i guess trash is trash through and through damn man like the level of shape even the lowest e rank at least have a 70 what's the result it looks like we suspected you for no reason damn nothing huh yeah he's thinking but aren't those people aware of that? Oh, the, the screen. Could it be that they can't see it? My torn leg is still here. And my impaled chest is back to normal. I can't seem to tell what, what was the dream, what was reality. I should have told them that I can see this. Guess it's not a touch screen. And then someone says, brother, what are you doing? Your head's not hurt as well, is it? it's like who is this didn't i tell you to stop getting injured how do you uh, do you know how worried i was sorry the others all returned fine so why are you always the one getting injured i can't believe i almost left her behind it doesn't feel like i'm out of this dream yet and there's like a message was like understand if you get hurt one more time i'm gonna throw away stunning at work instead so you can quit being a hunter i think that must be the younger sister jing on can you see this what there's an unread mail in the game can you also read it you really didn't get <laughs> you really didn't get hurt in the head right well you would have uh, to open the mailbox first open the mailbox and it says welcome player unread daily quest preparing to become strong has arrived unread that's what it says it pinged a little bit the window that he's the only one that could see this window screen and the guys in the men in black from the hunters association doesn't seem to figure it out and that freaking monometer basically just said he's not he's not a, a second awakening you know it might not happen and it's like okay well what is it it's like i'll be going for now it's like let's go so alarm the system will help the player's growth alarm if he fails to obey the system's orders, there may be a penalty. Alarm. Your rewards have arrived. And he's like, I don't understand what they're saying. It's like, it's a, all these freaking windows are popping up crazy. Now that I think about it, I remember seeing something similar when I was left on the altar. Is He's remembering he's completed, you know, the necessary requirements for the secret quest. Message. Daily quest preparing to become strong has arrived prepared to becoming strong check it says daily quest getting ready to be powerful the goal it says ink all of these say incomplete next to this it says push-ups you need 100 curl-ups 100 curl-ups again squats 100 running 10 kilometers and you have to do 100 of them but 10 kilometers and it says warning failing to complete the daily quest will bring a punishment associated with the quest and it says quest directions daily quest getting ready to become powerful so it's saying like what is this this is the joke right someone hospitalized doesn't even have the strength to do this so he's just like i'll check what it i'll check what this is it's like after i sleep and this quest quest it says warning and it has a timer at the bottom right there 
It says failing to complete the daily quest will bring a punishment associated with the quest. Failing to complete it says it right there. And now it went from a a green timer to a yellow timer and now to a red timer. So that basically means it's running out of time. Alarm, you have not completed the daily quest. You are not you are headed now towards the penalty zone for a certain period of time. And this is an earthquake. Something's happening in the and now he's in a desert of some sort. It's like, what is this place? A desert? No way. This has to be a dream, right? Oh my gosh. A poison fan giant sand centipede. Oh, like a freaking monster. It says quest directions penalty. Quest survive. Goal survive until the time runs out. Time required four hours. Time remaining three hours, 59 minutes, and 57 seconds. Oh boy. And that freaking monster of all things. You have to be kidding me, right? Yeah, you know, no, you're they're not kidding right now. So man that has to suck like you thought like you had a you know second awakening but it doesn't seem like you did and now the people the association basically says nah trash is still trash i'm like oh boy that's pretty bad so now we're gonna go to chapter 12 right here so we're almost there so he's running he's running he's like screaming to the top i was like ah it doesn't know what's going on ah, what's going on what's going on it's an alarm penalty quest survive goal survive until the tumor rides out Time required, four hours. Time remaining, seven seconds. Oh, boy. So everything used, running towards his life. And that big, freaking, huge sending monster with freaking giant sharp teeth. It says, you have completed the penalty quest. And now it looks like it went from the desert and back to his hospital room. It's like, you have completed the penalty quest. And it's like, penalty quest? Message, your rewards for completing the penalty quest have arrived would you like to accept and he's basically tired he was running it's like oh my gosh what happened here someone please call for help and there's just sand everywhere now in the hospital again you know a patient named sun jin Wu. i heard that he's a hunter yeah yeah he's been running every day even though it's only been a couple of days since he's woken up what did the doctor say the doctor said that the hunters heal faster than normal people so light exercises should be fine look he's even running right now if he, ex if he if if that's light exercise is it really okay how many hours has it been running it's been four days since i woke up there are a few things i found out all right first this thing in front of my eyes is not an illusion i'm talking about that screen pop-up that's window pop-up that's coming around it's just a window popped up alarm running 10 kilometers complete and it has a check mark right there 10 out of 10 kilometers it says, although nobody else can see, I can see clearly in front of my eyes, you know, this pop-up window. And choose your reward. You may choose one of these rewards below. And it says, reward one, status recovery. Reward two, stats points. Reward three, random box. Will you accept? It says, accept or reject. Accept status recovery. And literally magic that can heal your fatigue after exercising. The fatigue that nested in my whole body actually disappeared as if it wasn't there in the first place. And this whole huge blue and gold aura surrounded him and healed him. Aside from that, there are also stat points at the random box items. You can only increase any of your uh, character stats. Uh, will as long as you have the stat points so you can increase any one of your character stats at will as long as you have the stat points and then there's this like kind of little uh gift uh holographic gift i would say coming in and this is status name sun jin Wu, level one job none title none hp 100 not too bad fatigue zero mp 10 which is magic points and right now he has strength of 16, agility of 10, sense of 10, vitality 10, and intelligence 10. Remaining points 3. I get stronger as I increase my character stats. I, of course, increase my levels to do the same. Status skills, items inventory, item storage. So it has inventory, skills, so it has like unknown, muscularity, sprint, and then the stats. <clears throat> it's almost like a game. Being controlled by someone's strange phenomenon. It's like, 
what actually is happening here. So he's he, while he's sitting on a bench, he actually sees these pop up windows right in front of him, but nobody else can see it. Status Sunjin Wu. And it's kind of blurry in his face, kind of like what you see in a video game. And it kind of basically says all the stats what I just described right now. Right. It says, can I take a leave for today? It's like, it's fine. But where are you going? Uh, I have to take care of business outside. It's like, all right. So basically, he's going out. It's like, it's time to figure out what this does. Right. So he has this type of key in his hand and we don't know exactly what this thing does right so the random box that comes every time i clear a daily quest although sometimes useless items like bandages and pens come out this one comes different it says dungeon key class e type key a key that allows you to create an instant dungeon you may use this in the third entrance of japoon station or hap jung station i should say it says a key that can open instant dungeons interesting quest the status window rewards could it all be all this is it because of my second awakening that that is true or perhaps a procedure towards a second awakening if that's the case it's worth trying out the world's weakest uh, receiving a double a second awakening huh other people would laugh at if they heard that, but I'm confident that in my ability to run. So if it becomes too dangerous like last time, I'll run away no matter what. So he basically gets the key, puts it in the station, and now a gate opens just for him, it's just for Jin Wu. And he goes inside. Alarm, you have entered an instant dungeon, right? The pop up window comes in. No way. The entrance got blocked. But look, people right there is seen right now is just passing through it says is this some other dimension it's different for normal dungeons i've never seen it before but it should be similar to a red gate what do i do now i was planning to run if something bad happens if they block the exit then i can't even run away so now another pop-up window comes in you cannot leave the dungeon either kill the boss or use your return crystal you can actually you actually can't leave unless you kill the boss. It was only a few days ago when I struggled with an E-rank monster and now I'm supposed to clear this dungeon by myself. Damn, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, great." But he wanted to be strong. He wants to take this opportunity. I'm seriously expected to manage without a party. Yeah, because it's unheard of for a single individual to basically tackle a dungeon. Usually you would have to go in a party. So now it's very ominous to just imagine that. So now we go to chapter 13, right? We're almost, uh, we're getting good, right? And we're almost seeing um, Jin Wu as uh, this new person. Right now he still has doubts. It's like, uh, but I think the more we go through, I think he's going to learn more about himself. So as he's walking along, it almost looks like an old and abandoned train station, right? um you know like what do i do i'm feeling less and less confident strong stench this is must be a beast monster and then we see this freaking huge red wolf type thing jumping out of nowhere trying to like take a bite out of him and then jin Wu evaded it a wolf it says steel fang riken okay even one or two goblins are already hard enough for me so can I actually win against this? And then you basically see this freaking wolf guy with red glowing eyes. And this thing, it almost has a jaw made out of, made out of metal. This thing is ridiculous. So now what he's going to do? My leg, it's not moving. He's shaking. Why? Is it because I'm scared? Is that it? I didn't think I had any serious traumas from back then. Damn. It's like, oh, he's like trying to run it. I don't even... I don't even have a healer. I can't afford to get hurt now. Ooh, that was close. Literally, literally almost got his face right there. But he is evading pretty good so far. He's like, huh? It's like my body, my body feels light. He's almost act taking like a handstand right there. And now maybe he's feeling a little more confident. It's like I barely got my life back. You think I'll cower in fear? Oh, I feel like he's he's getting a little bit more confidence right now. It's like I 
I, I won't die now. He literally punches that thing in its face and <laughs> got hit. What? Could it be because I improved my strength stat? Look, his freaking hand is glowing. He literally punched a monster without using a weapon. That's unheard of. He's like, but it's still stronger than me because that freaking beast, that red wolf, is still kicking and screaming. And now it's trying to hit it while at the same time evading as I thought this won't do. Monsters aren't affected by normal attacks. Even this mob is stronger than me. Damn. And it's like, oh, what's going to happen? What do I do? Is it too much for me alone? It's like, I can't win. And now he actually got freaking scratched from his like my party healers equipment. I don't have any of those. What do I do? Uh, what do I what do I have that I can allow me to beat it? So he's like trying to hit it with everything. What I have is just my body, a weapon possessing magic power if i only had a weapon a weapon inventory and it's like oh he actually opened the inventory and he actually put his hand through that window and a sword popped out it's like i don't know why this is here but he slashed the freaking monster's face everything in half the blade that mr kim left behind in the second uh in the double dungeon i should say it says the uh the steel blade type sword plus 10 attack alarm you have defeated a steel rank riken you have leveled up the bing leveled up right there didn't mr kim sang say that he bought this for three million wong so expensive usually i would have probably could have even afford to touch it but i will use this sword for now an inventory huh that's pretty useful can I store uh, anything in here? It's like, oh, since I have a weapon, I'm not afraid anymore. And there's even more of those wolf things that are popping up. It's like, why can't I pull it out? Come on, come on. And he's like, oh, he's like struggling. And he's like pulling that freaking sword out of nowhere and slashes. Oh, no, the freaking wolf caught that thing with its mouth, the freaking sword. So now what is like he's not called the steel fang for nothing. Yeah, it's freaking steel in his fang. I can't let Mr. Kim's sword as I go to waste literally slash his freaking face off. And then the other wolf is like, now that I think about it, you guys, when compared to those monsters, you are too weak. Oh, I think like a change of personality right there. And now look, the wolves are actually cowering in fear right now. It's, it's like it's like oh what's going on it's like now the status has changed so now it's level two job none title none hp went up to 205 mp up to 22 strength 20 vitality 11 agility 11 intelligence 11 sense 11 and it says the sword is equipped so now things are getting more interesting so now we go to chapter 14. Pretty, pretty amazing things we're seeing right now from, uh, you know, from from the manga. Uh, so now the 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 freaking wolf is kind of scared right now. And it says, I see if I level up, every stat will go up by one. Yeah, so it did go by one. Clearing the daily quest gives me three stat points. Leveling up means all my stats go up by one. So I can get a total of five points. Looks like hunt, hunting monsters and leveling up is more efficient. How much stronger do I have? Do I become per stat point? Even my intelligence and sense can be expressed with numbers. The easiest one to understand is strength. It was only raised by 10, but it, I can definitely feel the improvements. Could it be that my stats are weighed? And he's kind of looking at the stat points. Anyways, I can see that you are getting stronger as you level up. It seems like even I can get stronger. It's like I am overreacting just because I defeated two monsters. Don't these ones ha uh, drop magical cores? I thought all monsters in the dungeon possess a magical core. It looks like this is a different species altogether, though. The strange phenomenon that occurs to me. 
if I'm being controlled by a game system, there's a high chance that these instant dungeons and monsters were also especially created by that system. Maybe that's why they drop items and not magical cores. So that's one item it says, the right Kang's fan type junk, a large and sharp fang of right Kang. You can keep it in your inventory or sell it in the store. There's even a store here. So even a store pop-up window, buy or sell. What does buying do? Alarm, your level is not high enough to buy from the store. Looks like new players can't use this function. Would you like to sell the Red Kings fan? Yes. All right, so he's going to sell it. He's actually putting it up next to the window. 20 gold. I can't tell how much it's worth since it's not cash. Then again, this dungeon should be about an E rank, right? It's probably not worth much, but I don't know. But what do I do now? I can't leave unless I kill the boss. I could leave if I got a return crystal, but I don't even know if that will ever happen. And before long, I'll lose my supply of food. Even if the boss is, is E rank, it's still too much for me to handle because I'm by myself. No, it shouldn't be possible if I level up some more. Well, I could die before then so now more of those freaking oh no so now we see those red wolves one and now they become many right now staring at him it's like okay so what are you gonna do Jin Wu? and now he's kind of like looking at him it's like there's nothing to fear i've already died once before mm. and all the freaking steel fangs are just looking at him and now Jin Wu is going for the attack, swinging his sword, slashing, slicing, and dicing all of these freaking wolves. He says, I won't die that easily. So you shouldn't die too easily either, or I'll feel sorry. And he says, fiercely, just see freaking like slash dash movements, fight fiercely. And he is just slicing those freaking rope wolves. It says, as much as my body can endure, alarm, you have leveled up. Ba Bing! It's like, a truly realized now an alarm you have leveled up Bing. so i can only mean i can only imagine that right i'm probably in the next uh manga read i'm probably gonna put like a little level up sound effect every time that thing comes up <laughs> when you leveled up if i quit here i'll just get slaughtered you uh, you have leveled up again little bing if I and now he's remembering is that if I die, I can protect those who I wish to protect, which is, is one of his sisters. I'll lose everything. And he's looking towards I can't just keep my head down like weakling. If I can become stronger, I'll even follow the, these bullshit rules. And he's like, ah, he's just slicing everything. Alarm, you have leveled up. Another bing. Uh, so now what? Now he's huffing and puffing more of those freaking wolves are still appearing oh boy he's like oh another side it's like all right now you can kind of see his eyes are now changing now his eyes are glowing blue a little bit uh so it says alarm you have earned the title wolf slayer so that is the end of that chapter now we go to chapter 15 so now Will he defeat all of the wolves? Because he already is now. So it looks like the blade is all, is all dull. In the end, a weapon will inevitably lose its durability. Even if I purchase a high-grade weapon, it becomes like this once I cycle through the dungeons a few times. There was one side time I purchased a dagger that cost me more than 50,000 wong. Although hunting became a lot easier, the dagger broke away too easily at a boss fight. That day, I looted three E-class magic crystals. Oh, boy. And I still couldn't make ends meet. So I never bought a weapon again. Even if it was tiring, I chose to take care of them one by one using my body. And he's like, thanks. Thanks to you. He's using, he actually is thanking the sword. Right? This worked out. And you can just see bodies of freaking bloody wolves all over the place. Title, Wolf Slayer. A title is given to the hunter proficient in fights against wolves. 40% increase experience against beast-type monsters. So 34 wolf fangs, two worn daggers, traveler's clothes, and a heath stone. All right. That's more than what I was expected. A heath stone, huh? So, uh, hearthstone, I should say. 
Should I return? It's like, no. There's no guarantee there will be another chance to become strong this easily. What happens to this dungeon after I use the hearthstone? It's like, will it just disappear? If this is something like a limited event made by the system, it would be possible. Ultimately, I'm dancing in the palm of something that I don't know, while woking dancing in the palm of Buddha. <laughs> Advance or retreat? And he's basically holding that stone right there. He puts that stone into his inventory again. And now leveling up again, more of those wolves. Bing, another one. Every time I level up, the fight against the monsters becomes a little bit easier. You have slain Razor Claw, Briga. You have slain Black Shadow Rizan. You have slain Black Shadow Rizan. So more and more, he's just destroying monsters. I can definitely feel myself getting stronger because the monsters keep responding unlike normal dungeons. They won't feel like living creatures. Yeah, you're just basically farming XP right now, experience points. Therefore, fighting them feels like a game where their partners, their patterns are determined. If I learn the patterns, I can figure out where they're coming from. So it's like a monkey from above, a cat from each side, right? Black Shadow Rizan, and now he's literally just slicing that freaking monkey from the top and then slicing the cat from the left and right as well, right? So, and then another Steel Fang, another freaking Red Wolf, and then he doesn't even, he just cuts him in half, slice and dice. And he's just getting more. And it's like, wow, the color of the name changes according to the monster's strength. That means it's weak. Orange means it's strong, right? So, right now, it's showing you like three different monsters. So, the goblin is in white, which is the weakest. The we the red wolf is in orange, and then that huge freaking centipede that almost devoured him, that he actually, I'm surprised he actually survived that, is red. So red means very strong. See, the red cans who were in orange at first are now white. I, ha I have become quite a bit stronger. So all of the red wolves now that were used to be orange are now white because now they're weak. But even with my current strength, I'm not sure I can beat that guy down there and i think it's the boss i think he senses him i'm getting goosebumps Ooh, maybe it's because my sense of status have increased but i can tell how strong that monster down there is and the status he's now up to level 15 right so his hp is uh 1105 fatigue is 30 and then as his level doesn't seem to be rising anymore also my sword won't last if it keeps fighting endlessly so I guess it's time to figure out if he's strong enough to hit the boss right now. So he's now going down the stairs where he sees like kind of like a fog kind of uh, guiding him there, a dark fog. Is it just me or does these stairs seem longer? And he's like, whoa, this really is the Habjong station, right? It's like almost abandoned right now. But again, it's almost like a different dimension, the dungeon. And then something is popping out of our fast and that sword basically block that attack and freaking Jin Woon is like hit the wall to the point he almost coughed blood right there oh my god and now his sword is broke it's like my sword it's broken it's like I thought I leveled up quite a bit and now it says swamps ruler blue poison fang rasaka so it's like your name is but your name is still orange yeah so it's not a red one so it means like he should be able to defeat it but still, it's like, it's a freaking huge snake. It's like, are you the boss of this place? And now he basically switched the blade and now he's going to try to fight this boss. Right. So now we go to chapter 16. Right. As we go further, are you the boss of this place? And now we're going to see some answers. And then you see the snake open its freaking head and uh, was mouth I should say and you see those two huge steel fangs in that that serpent like tongue just you know slithering right there and it says a sword won't be won't pierce those scales punches won't have any effect either so what is there to do and now that snake is about to attack right now I need a super fast attack with weight behind it and he's trying to hit it with a broken sword but that's not working at the same time I have to weaken this guy's defense 
but how do i deal with these thick scales that's what's the problem right there because they're made out of freaking steel so now he's blocking that attack okay i might die if it hits me directly and now the tail got the recall right now and now he is just trying to survive it right now oh he just got hit in the bag i thought i got a bit stronger but i'm still lacking how much stronger do i have to get uh, apparently more so now he is trying to find to escape from my pass of the weakness the world's weakest hunter that's right there's rumors about you recently did you not know and he's like remembering what he said there seem to be people who childish they, who childish do these things since there are rumors try to exert yourself more yeah he's like yes i understand and it's like he is just attacking that snake it's like that nickname stuck because i'm weak weakness is something is not something to brag about i know just how weak i am and he is fighting hard strength a pressuring force squeezes your head and you and then you can make it yield you can make you it can make you yield right so he's remembering the past of like all the places even false hypocrisy won't protect me right whatever the opponent does pure strength will overwhelm you and fear will make your knees collapse and your toes dig into the ground so he's remembering i'm being ignored because i'm weak it says even if you're knowledgeable or wise or receive thanks in front of strength and he is saying it and he is remembering his traumatic you know time of the double dungeon it's easy to get betrayed he's remembering that thing i have to get stronger i have i came here to to get stronger he doesn't want to be betrayed anymore or ever again and he's like what's going on right now i i have i have to become even stronger and now there's this purple aura that's surrounding him and his eyes are also glowing at the same time like something inside him probably just snapped right now and you see the snake trying to attack not yet not yet compared to that guy and he's remembering that statue with that evil smile compared to that fear from that time i'm not scared at all and that is the boss thing and he is hitting it he is literally slashing that freaking snake and oh he almost missed that he took that snake trying to bit his hand right now and it's like i'll put all my points into strength if it's this much so while he's he literally grabbing the snake from his throat from his neck right trying to like and the snake is trying to like kind of hit him by the wall kind of like squeezing him it's like die 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 he is literally squeezing it with his force with his strength he is using his own manpower to squeeze this freaking snake and now it goes back to the hospital where he's from so sunjin will still hasn't back yet it's like yes he went out this morning why isn't he returning after the sunset but he recovered a lot and he will be discharged soon to start at uh, discharge i should say we can't be sure with hunters we should stabilize them indoors they say that high class hunters ha are rich but lower class hunters don't get much money and it's so dangerous i don't know why they do that work it's horrifying to see someone of that condition of the hunters to get that carried in why i wonder what they do inside the dungeons their wounds are normal they come covered in blood completely on the other level from the patients that i get into incidents so he's, the doctor's basically talking to a nurse it's amazing that they're still alive in that condition even so isn't it a miracle that they're able to return alive from a dungeon he says not at all the doctor says even the weakest hunters are strong compared to normal humans they're monsters themselves and then alarm three level ups bing 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 right there ah and he's like kind of huffing and puffing it's like <laughs> he's like laughing <laughs> i guess i got a bit stronger and the snake is dead guys and is the alarm you have slain the swamp ruler the blue poison fan Risaka. 
And now these are some of the items that he just got it. The Rasenka Venom, a pouch that contains Rasaka's purified venom, obtainable by defeating Rasaka. Unlike Drop Rate, drinking it will give you a hardened skin, but will weaken your strength. And then the other thing he got, Rasaka's Fang, a dagger made from Rasaka's Fang, able to paralyze due to leftover venom, grants bleed effect, can be equipped, stored, or sold. Effect paralyze, attack foes on the chance to becoming unable to move. Effect bleed, attack foes lose 1% of their health every one second. Wow, that is that is just crazy right there, right? And now, finally, the last chapter uh, 17 of today's manga reads. So this will basically be the end of the beginnings. So as we continue, he's just laughing. He is laughing. He got strong. He killed the snake, right? So now he has all this. This is my clothes are ruined. The sword just got broken. It's like my body aches a bit. He, he, he is he's in pain right now. But I obtain a better blade than the one from uh, Mr. Kim got. A dagger made from a fang, not bone, right? So it kind of tells you all the effects. We kind of figured out the attack is actually plus 25, but the item class is C and the type of weapon is a dagger. So the dagger is made of the Rasaka's fang, able to paralyze due to the leftover venom, grants bleed effect, and can be equipped, stored, or sold, right? So, but the bleed effect, let me tell you guys, like that thing is crazy. Like you lose 1% of your health every one second. So that means in less than two minutes, your health goes to zero. Like it's crazy. Like you have to have really good, you know, endurance. The attack stack is more than twice my old dagger and it has a paralyzed and bleed as well. Paralysis and bleed compared to that. This is an awkward to use and it's talking about the poison. It's like if it will harder your skin, but you lose your strength, right? So debuff weakened muscles minus 35 strength, but you can get you can basically uh, reduce the damage that you get. I'll store it for now. Alarm. The boss has been slain. The dungeon's inferior will revert to normal. And now you see the freaking, you know, entire area just going back to normal, almost kind of pixelated in a way. And now it's back to normal. It's almost like a a, a regular subway right there in um, you know, South Korea. Hab Jung Station. So now he's walking up. What time is it now? It's already nighttime. And who are you? It says, How did you come out of out from there? And it's like it's a soldier holding a gun. It's like, didn't you hear the broadcast? A soldier? What happened? Oh, uh, what are you saying now? It's like, oh, it's like uh, he's looking at him, he's seeing the broken sword. The tethered clothes could you be a hunter yes that's right but it's like oh excuse me i will got you sir hunter this way oh so he doesn't even know who he is at least the, i'm glad that the freaking soldier give him respect right there so it says here we see monsters so the monsters actually came out of the dungeon right there you see some destructions looks like a gate open nearby did the monsters come over nearby monsters have been taken care of leaving one big monster left and now you see Jin Wu kind of his eyes looking towards a direction. Maybe due to my sense stat, I can feel it. So now he actually can sense strong enemies from far away. That's the boss. And then it's like a almost type of golem type of monster. And you kind of see other hunters trying to attack it. It's like, please don't take photos. Please leave quickly. You see a lot of people like trying to take, you know, it's almost like a little show for them. It's like, what are hunters doing? How long are they going to fight? I wish they beat it quickly. Oh, gosh. What a mess. A lot of damage. What if the land value drops? <laughs> That's all they're thinking about. It's funny. Like, they're using their phones kind of thing. Like, they're trying to see, like, oh, look. Like, you see some hunters fighting. Like, oh, like I, I hope the like our value doesn't go down. It's kind of weird. Healers, please heal the tank. We're trying our best. Like, they're trying to heal. What? Are the damage dealer is doing is not budging its defense is too high unfortunately you don't have any magicians excuse me coming through and like the soldier saying is it because they're called out of a so short notice their communication isn't working their ranks are too low so he even noticed that around eight e rankers and one d rank since a tank since he's a tank he can't deal damage and is going for a battle of attrition the healers two dink uh, rank one and hmm? he's like hey miss what are you doing I need healing oh it's one of the 
Oh, it's a Juhi. You said you were a B rank healer. Why are you spacing out? And she's like, sorry. Oh, I guess she just is traumatized still. What's with her? If only you knew. He, he, she just remembers like he, she's just remembering the traumatic experience from those freaking statues that killed everybody if I retreat I can't get back up even after a week she still hasn't uh, overcome it that's to be expected I also know it's like oh look he's having, he's having like the strength right there I have to overcome it and now he's kind of glowing and that boss is around D rank Compared to the boss I fought just then, it's lower. It's this one's rank is lower. If I can weaken his defense, I can do it. I need to blow uh, so they can pierce that stupid rock. So he's actually going to throw that broken sword like a spear. And it's like, go! Literally launches it into like almost like a rocket. If, if this goes well, if this goes on, we'll all die. If a hay rank hunter doesn't come, no, no, it's like a tank might die at this rate. What do you want us to do? Our magic is running out. Hmm? And now, oh, the freaking golem just exploded. His face exploded. It's like, yes, the attack work. It's collapsing. It's like a bit more attack now. So because of Jin Wu, that freaking monster, we did it. We beat it. What? And like one of the guys, the tank is saying, the attacks didn't work at all until a while ago, but it suddenly collapsed. No, our attacks did nothing. That was what was that flew in just then? Was was it? Is that what made it fall down? What in the world blew it up that rock's head? So he noticed it's like that sword, a boss golem that could withstand attacks from ten hunters, was defeated by this. Just who? Excuse me. Yes, are you the one talking to me? Did you see who threw this? Ah, there, the hunter over there. Oh, oh, the Jin Wu's gone. Huh? There was a hunter right there a moment ago. The strength, that uh, dest destructiveness is like, was he a high rank hunter? And I think they're questioning. I didn't think it would fall in one hit. Was it health lower than I expected? And now he's kind of walking away. And then, oh, you see Jin Wu. She's like, Jin Wu, is that you from the distance? It's like, oh, maybe it's her. Now it says status. Jin Wu, level 18, fatigue 17, title Wolf Slayer, HP 22, 20, MP 350, strength is 48, agility 27, sense is 27, vitality 27, and intelligence 27. Remaining points are zero. And basically, we are done with uh today's uh manga reads right for solo leveling so what about you guys what did you guys think uh, i hope you guys were following along i hope you guys were enjoying it 17 chapters right uh of this the beginnings of sun jin woo and i actually did a, a video a long time ago where i talked about um you know solo leveling and what what does it mean for ranking what does it mean for, for it to be a hunter right and I did all this and, um, you know, I'll, I'll show you in video like what I'm talking about, because it, in the way I described it, I actually had like almost like a huge presentation because I'm still immersed to it. I, I'm, I'm liking how, you know, everything is just is just freaking awesome with solo leveling. Right. And um, I, I just love like just the story. And then we talked about the gates. Right. We already know what the gates are. You know, you can be basically transported. Uh, so the, the, you know, if so, I'll I'll get back to that again. So uh, let me get out of this. Um, so so that way you can see it more clearly, right? So we're gonna see exactly uh, what is going on with solo leveling, right? So uh, let's see. So we got this, right? This is from my old video right here. Um, from solo leveling, we see the gates. If a dungeon is not cleared or a gate is unnoticed after seven days, the monsters are freely across gate in the work and the earth and it can wreak havoc, right? So that's pretty much self-explanatory, right? And uh, the hunter, it's a human that possesses mysterious magical powers, have abnormal strength and regeneration compared to normal humans. Usually hunters will belong to a hunter's guild, right? And the hunter, the ranking is basically this, right? Now, no, this is like an old one. 
so this is basically the hunter's rank so you guys can kind of see it um let me get a little bit right here so you guys can kind of see it even better so uh to basically see it right now uh you could see that the the rank starts from low from e rank right and it goes from d then to c then to b then to a and then the highest one is s rank only a few in the world are s rank right but right now what we're talking about is we know that at the beginning of the story jin Wu was considered the weakest uh, hunter of all time right especially in south korea because even though he was an e-rank he was even the weakest of the e-ranks he's still stronger than an average human but not by much right and what we knew what we know about right now is that he is basically trying to make money it doesn't seem like that the father is involved and he's basically the breadwinner <clears throat> and he knows that he's getting injured he knows the risk he knows that he can kill he'd be killed anytime but since he's been awakened being a hunter is the only way to make an income and that's the only way that he could go through this and even though it sucks right he doesn't want to um you know he he, he doesn't want to let anyone down on that and it, it's it's honorable and he wants to help his sister you know go to college and then also another family member. We it doesn't show the mother as well, but it's gonna get there. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna learn more about it. And let me tell you, it's it's, it's so gut wrenching, it's so wholesome, it's so emotional that it's gonna be beautiful, guys. And it's been a while since I read the manga, but uh, it's it's great to actually review everything again because it's mo the more we read it, the more excited we're gonna be once the mo the anime will be uh for us when it shows and airs on january 2020 so as you can see e rank right so if he got a second awakening right it means that he could go up two levels so if as an e rank he can basically be a b rank level but not the case not the case on this time it looks like <clears throat> for this one he can actually level up more and more and more and i think his own goal is to actually go up to the s rank so right now he was able to beat a d rank level boss right so it also means that it could be around the c rank area at this very moment at the end of chapter 17 right it could be it could be we don't know but i would assume that he would probably be in the c rank area or i d rank area if it were me but I think we would have to assume it's C rank because remember the D rank people that were attacking that monster, they couldn't make a budge out of it. So I would say C rank uh, would be the best uh, assessment right there. So that's where he wants to be. And um, again, like uh, the, the second awakening, right? Uh, we talked about that a little bit, uh, showing that when you are awakened as a hunter, you received an awakening power so it's it's a very rare event for select humans not all humans are hunters right so when you put your hand on the monometer or you start showing levels of magic and power they're gonna basically rank you according to the power that you have they already have like a system of what's the power level that you have to have to be a certain rank right so once you are that rank you can't go any higher than that you're basically that rank for life even if you train yourself to be uh, let's say if you were uh maybe awakened to be a b rank level right a b rank level is all you're going to be no matter how much training you do no matter how much potions you make or magic you use that's all you're going to be you're only going to be a b rank uh, hunter right but a, a second awakening right or a double awakening basically means that it could mean that you could actually awaken again and surpass your limits so it kind of gives you like an example right here an e rank could be like a c rank and then a b rank could be an s rank right so we could assume that jin Wu is kind of looking towards that you know that mantle he wants to go to that area and right now he's probably a c rank at the very moment right but i know he wants to be stronger he doesn't want to feel you know 
uh, he doesn't want to feel that he is weak and he doesn't want to ever feel to be betrayed. And that's why he wants to, uh, you know, train more and to protect the people that he cares about. Right. So that is that is why he is fighting so hard. And that's why he wants to. So it, it, it is amazing, guys. And I, I'm glad that you guys uh, were here to to see it to you know review it and um also just to look at you know certain things a little bit and we can look more towards uh the jingu uh you know what he has to go through every single day being ridiculed being you know the joke the butt of everyone's joke saying oh you know he's the weakest hunter you know we don't have to worry about that if he's going it should be a piece of cake right so you know Jin Wu is doing everything for his family right he's the breadwinner he wants to have every, he wants to do it even though it's dangerous because that's the, the best that he can do right we don't know his family situation at the moment of the reading of this you know the first 17 chapters but what we do know is that we could totally see that he wants to become strong he wants to become strong and never be weak again because he knows that weakness can lead you to be being betrayed and you can't protect anybody. Even if you're smart, even if you are good with, you know, talking and, you know, figuring puzzles out, if you don't have strength, you don't have anything. And that's what he wants to work hard for. Now that he's in a higher level, that he leveled up basically almost, you know, uh, 18 levels I believe so he's now at level 18 uh, that's where we are right now so that is that is pretty awesome just to see that so um, you know adding back uh, uh, you know the, the, the levels right uh, adding up the levels we can totally see that he is going to be someone that is going to be powerful we're going to see that he will go through trials and tribulations and we might see a, a personality change from him too uh so i'm just going to show you just a, like a quick thing of you know what's his level right now uh so just to show you a little bit so here is his level right now so the level right now jing Wu. so he's level 18 job none wolf slayer and that is where he's at at this very moment of the reading so i've been collecting and reading all the mangas and it's been a while since i've gone back to it but the way it's going to work that uh, i'll let you guys know how frequently these manga reads are going to be it's going to be every single week we're going to be reading more and more chapters and for that specific day it, we're just going to review what we what we basically read and also um, see what's going to happen next time. Uh, not a preview, but, you know, just letting you guys know where we are in the story so far. So right now we're only at the beginning of the story, right? So it's pretty, pretty awesome that we're there and that um, th th that we are now at the position where he is literally trying to get stronger and stronger and he doesn't know where this is going he doesn't know what the system is he doesn't know why the system picked him but he is using it to his advantage because he never wants to feel betrayed again he wants to protect the people he cares about and to maybe save people that are also being ridiculed just like he was right because he knows how it feels to be ridiculed and to feel weak and it's just something amazing that it showed his his character, his strength. That even though he had a busted leg, his head was his his leg was cut off. He literally sacrificed himself to save his friend and to let you know the the party leader to leave. And at the very end, when he was praying to see if he had a second chance, that's when the system picked him. He says, "Do you want to be a player?" It happened, and now he's figuring it out. How his powers? How does he level up? How his stats goes up? beautiful right there and cannot wait to see more and more 
so again guys uh thank you so much uh for joining me uh today uh for the reading of solo leveling the beginnings of from chapter one to chapter 17 what do you guys think of the readings uh did you like it uh, are you big solo leveling fan and are you excited about the anime that's coming later this oh actually not this year but next year the first anime that i'm going to be watching of 2024 solo leveling are you guys excited about that write your comments below and if you like the content of this video please hit that like button subscribe to my channel hit that notification so you know when future videos are available all right everyone i hope you enjoyed uh your time with me and i hope you guys join me again for another manga wreath of solo leveling all right everyone stay awesome